in the line in three, two, one, go. Immediately off 1825 of the Blue Alliance drives in a nice curve all the way across the mobility line and is now climbing onto the charge station for the Blue Alliance engaging it before time runs out. With an advantage coming into Teleop, the Red Alliance looks to hold their lead and it comes off the back of GameCube placement by 5801 ZTC, places on a top node for five. 5809, the Jezubots not to be outdone by Red, attempt the same but just barely deflect off the pole. 1802 Team Stealth with the cube in their possession. They're looking to put the finishing touches on the first link for the Red Alliance. 10 points in one placement. Excellent scoring by the Red Machine. Here comes the Cyborgs up and good for five points. While the law holds down the center of the field, trying to slow what cycles they can as both Blue Alliance robots expertly take pieces from their human double portal substation. They're gonna race back to their communities. Fifty-eight oh one denied access for the cube only temporarily by the consequential defense of the Jezubots who now have a cone of their own. Three-point placement on the middle node by Inspire. We'll see if they can hold up the scoring as 45 seconds remain. Here come the Cyborgs. They're going to finish a second link for the Blue Alliance. Excellent game piece placement. As the hop over the charge station and enter the top of the grid, looking to finish off a second alliance link for blue. With 20 seconds left, all three blue robots are going up in unison, but the digital hawks fell just sharp. Can they recenter themselves while all three robots for red are up? They're gonna try to balance. We've got red engaged. Will we see blue? They have the time to find it. With the win, 124 to 117, a high scoring match. With this match, the Red Alliance Alliance 5 continue in our lower bracket. But that means that our number seven alliance will have to be bid adieu. Please.